and welcome back. This is your man Warrior and I just want to have some fun. I rarely play with Jen and I wanted to put her as a leader. I also wanted to make an all rebel team. I heard some people on Facebook, Mad Doggin, Han Solo, and you know he is utilitarian but I do enjoy playing him. So I put him in this team and I just got Bist into seven stars a couple days ago. So I threw him in there as well. So this is an all rebel team, probably a rebel team that I don't think I've seen on YouTube yet. So I figured this would be kind of fun. I I honestly don't know how this is going to play out. Uh, I have an idea, a strategy, and how I'm going to play it, but um, I'm going to go against a Zeted uh, Jedi team. So let's go ahead and see how we do. I'm interested. I've got a cut uh, three front characters, kind of squishy, uh, and my turret's only four stars, so uh, there's four almost. Like, you can't really call turret squishy no matter what, but... Um, <clears throat> Definitely not where they need to be. So he always gets to go first. This is only going to clear the eyebally, the foresight off of his head. But that's all right. We're going to go ahead and clear the, the foresight off of everybody. It would be nice to get the tenacity off, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do frenzy. That's going to create this frenzy capability. And I'm going to steal his... T uh, well, actually, he might not be able to lose his turn meter because of his tenacity up. So let's do this and let's watch Han Solo. And of course, Biston gets to go automatically. He'll remove turn meter equal to his potency. And then my turret already has been waiting to go. So there's a lot of stuff happening and Biston gets to go again. <laughs> and then he gets to go, and then Biston gets to go again. There, they finally get a turn. Oh, and there's some retaliation. Very cool. And I don't have her Zeta as far as preventing her from uh, being stunned. Well, there's the first person. Let's go ahead and go to Yoda, because he likes to pass all the buffs around. Kind of annoying. Oh, he's got everything now. He is a little squishy, though, so that's good. <laughs> this is just a fun team. Not necessarily a, uh, a team that is going to stay at the top of the uh, leaderboards or anything. I just figured I'd show you. I'm just having a little bit of fun. I already got my payout for the day, so I'm not too worried about it. Boy, he's got a lot of buffs. I don't want him to give those to anybody else. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to. He just counters a lot because he stole that from me. Stealer. He stole my turn meter. <laughs> All right. He's keeps getting himself foresight. Super irritating. How about we go ahead and do this? Whack. Whack, whack. Might as well. Was having some issues with uh, taking Yoda out with all the foresight. Um, here we go. Alrighty. There we go. Now we can move. I like to leave Ayla last. Well, except for when he's got foresight. There we go. She resisted the stun because she has that tenacity. Let's go back over here. I want to take Mace out. And we'll resist her stun now, so that's good. Let's frenzy again! <laughs> A couple people asked I, they wanted to see uh, Biston, so I was like, yeah, let's do it. So let's do a special ability, give it to Churrit. And now Biston will get a go. He removed the turn meter. So that was exciting, and he gets to go again. And let's get rid of the foresight. And we only got one more person to take out, so let's give everyone critical chance up. And it should be pretty quick now. Let's go ahead and steal her team, and boom! Oh, she did not get stunned. Let's uh, do a basic, another basic. The expose is nice too because they take that health damage 20% of their health so and she puts that down as well and let's take away some turn meter 
Well, it killed her. So, so there you go. Obviously, when you're playing against the AI, which is the artificial intelligence, it is much easier to win. But I figured I'd have some fun tonight. Why not? Hope you guys are having a wonderful afternoon. I've got a number of videos coming out over the next few weeks. I have a ton of roster reviews that people have requested that I do. These are my patrons who uh, support me. I'm gonna be doing their roster reviews. Some of them don't want them public and others said it's fine if I share them publicly. So some of them will come out um, in views on my channel. And there's a few that are free to play and a few that are pay to play. So you'll get to see lots of different. Now, the reason why I put them publicly on my channel um, is because you guys can see what their team compositions look like. It's really fun to see what other people have and to see what they're focused on. Um, so that's why we share it because it's just fun to see and then get my opinion. That way you can hear what my thoughts are on their roster. And a lot of times your roster will look similar to theirs. So I hope you have a wonderful night. Keep your gaming on. Warrior out.